and welcome to Kennedy K. Today, guys, we are doing part two of my experience during pregnancy. So in this last video, we just talked about my first trimester, my second trimester, and we went through all the fun things that we had done, like telling my siblings that I was pregnant, finding out I was pregnant before that, and also um, Jenverville and all the other really fun experiences we had. We also went through all of the symptoms I was having, and we also did all of the bump pictures. So here's a few little snippets if you didn't see that. This is where we started off and here's a few other ones. Of this are, these are pictures of baby boy just growing and it was so fun to see where I started and where I've come now, where I'm 39 weeks now. 39 weeks! I'm so excited! We're so excited to meet baby boy. So now in this video, we're gonna be talking about third trimester and kind of things that I've seen, bump picture updates, and um, just all of the fun experiences that we had so far in our third trimester. And I wanted to also kind of say, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I have just been so, so grateful. I feel like this pregnancy has gone by so quickly. Obviously it's slow because I want to see this baby, but I feel like I've had a really good experience and I'm very, very grateful for that. And I feel like I'm so lucky. There was obviously some times where I was feeling a little bit sick, but. Overall, I felt like really great and felt like a lot of support and love and I'm just really grateful for that. So thank you guys for all of your help and just this crazy experience and of having a baby and figuring out this pregnancy journey. So let's get going in our third trimester. So for those of you who may not know, the third trimester is about 28 weeks to 40 weeks, depending on when you give birth, but it can go to 40 weeks, so yes. Pregnancy is not nine months, it's actually like 10 months, so it's insane. I feel like I've been nine months pregnant for a while now, and I'm like, I'm so excited, just can't wait to meet this sweet little baby. Let's go through kind of the experiences that I've had starting in third trimester. Third trimester, I feel like I continue to have still like quite a bit of energy compared to my first trimester where I was exhausted. I feel like I was still able to just continue to work out like in my second trimester. I felt um, pretty confident that baby was healthy and good. I would say I definitely took a lot more naps in my third trimester compared to my second one, just because um, I was just a little more tired. But I also feel like my third trimester, it's been harder to sleep just because I have this huge belly and you can't lay on your back and I'm a back sleeper. So I've had to kind of learn how to sleep on my sides. Sometimes your hips hurt when you're laying on your hip the whole night. So you just gotta kind of figure out how to best sleep with your body and figure out what, what you like and how you can sleep. So that was something that was a little bit tricky, but I feel like we're doing pretty good. This week, especially, I've had a lot, I've had a harder time going back to sleep, but maybe it's just kind of training me now for preparing for a baby. Because now I'm just kind of awake and I'm like, okay, maybe this is a good time that I will in like two weeks, I'll want to hold my baby and just love my baby and give him cuddles or feed them or whatever. Maybe it's just preparing me. I don't know. That's something that I've kind of experienced, but it's, it hasn't been too bad where I feel like I'm like dying of exhaustion. I've still been able to work out, which is so, like, like, it makes me so excited and happy that I've been able to continue to work out throughout my whole pregnancy just because I feel like it's helped me get those endorphins that I need and I feel like it makes me happier. I just love all my support system at my workout class. So I'm really, really grateful for that and um, I love working out. One thing that's kind of crazy in my third trimester that I was not expecting is in my workout class, I, I usually for like my workout routine in general, I go to a, um, it's called high fit where it's like um, aerobics and you're doing like lots of cardio and doing lots of jumps and everything. And then I also do weightlifting a little bit after of just kind of toning everything. And I've been doing that my whole pregnancy and I haven't had any issues, especially Braxton Hicks. I haven't had any Braxton Hicks almost my entire third trimester until like last week. And it wasn't because I was doing high fit and it wasn't because I was doing any crazy weightlifting. It was because I went on a walk. And I went on a walk with two of my really good friends, Hallie and Ryan. I was doing good and we were walking super slow and we ended up walking like quite, like pretty far. It was about like four miles, five miles, and we were just talking and I was just walking my dog. I felt great, but I came home and all of a sudden I started feeling Braxton Hicks and I was like, oh, this is what it feels like. Because all my friends have had Braxton Hicks, but I haven't yet. 
at that point. And so it was so cool to finally get some Braxton Hicks and feel like, oh, this is what a contraction feels like. Um, because I had not had that yet. And so um, I started feeling the tightening of my stomach and just like some of the other things that come along with Braxton Hicks. And so that was actually really cool. It like was a little bit painful, but it wasn't, um, wasn't super bad. It was just more like uncomfortable. It was neat to kind of figure out, oh, this is what it feels like. This is how I can um, time my contractions when that time comes. It was really nice to kind of prepare myself a little bit more for um, giving birth. So that was something kind of fun that we, that I experienced this last little bit. Other things that I was able to do and haven't been able to do, oh, one thing, I feel like I haven't been nauseous at all my third trimester, but I will tell you, your girl gets heartburn now. And I, so I have to be careful what I eat and what time I eat, especially at night. I just can't really eat super late right before I go to bed. And also your girl cannot have anything spicy because she'll get heartburn really bad or tomatoes, which makes me so sad because I'm craving spaghetti, but I know it's gonna give me heartburn. And it's kind of funny because my dad gets heartburn really bad from tomatoes. I guess I just got it now. It's kind of crazy. Other things that I've kind of experienced, I'm thirsty all the time. Sorry, we need some water. Other things, I get pretty hot quickly. Like, I get hot and I'm like, oh, I need to lay down or I need to go go outside for a second and cool down. Which is, I'm very grateful that I'm in my third trimester in the middle of winter because I can just walk outside and it's cold. I do not know how you girls do it in your third trimester in the summer because that, that sounds so hard and the heat, I just don't do well with heat. So kudos to you guys who are in your third trimester in the summer because that is insane. Other things that I've kind of experienced, my belly is definitely growing more and more every day. It's harder to pick up things. It's harder to sit up and we don't want the we don't want our stomach to cone, so we gotta be really careful rolling our sides and pushing up that way. Everything else, I I don't know what it is about this third trimester, but I feel like I've been obsessed with taking showers, like just nice warm showers. Like it's like one of my favorite things to do and relaxes me a lot. Yeah, those are kind of just some of the things that I've experienced in my third trimester. Again, we haven't had too many Braxton Hicks. We I feel like start last week was a start and now I feel like I have had them almost every day now. Nothing like too crazy or intense, but it is still nice to like kind of figure out, oh, this is what it is. Let's go through some bump pictures now and I'll show you guys all of kind of what I, my third trimester bump pictures are like. So if you haven't seen, this is again week four. This is when I, right when I found out. And then this right here is week 28. Um, I apologize because all of these pictures are after I had just worked out because that was the time that I just remembered. Oh, I gotta go take a bump picture. So, this is week 28. Here's week 29. We have week 30. <laughs> the belly is so big, so cute. I love my belly. Here is week 34. I just kind of forgot probably at some point. Week 36. Week 38. And right here is week 39. This is where I'm at right now. Uh, the belly. Isn't it crazy? From Okay, so here, let's compare again. So right here is week four, week 39. <laughs> I love belly bump pictures. Here, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the video right now. We have major bump. He's doing good. Baby's kicking all the time. He's moving around. He's starting to kick like harder because usually before with little kicks, it was kind of either, it started out like flutters and then it started feeling like, like a little, like a little whoosh, but nothing like painful. Then it started feeling like, um, like he was just kind of pushing, like he didn't have enough room to karate chop me. It was just more of like a push, but now it's like, this kid is strong. Like he is pushing and I can almost see like his imprint. Like yesterday, I'm pretty sure I saw his like little kneecap like pushing on my belly because it was like this like tiny little bump and I could tell it wasn't a foot, but I think I'm pretty sure it was like a knee where he was just like kind of pushing that way and it was just crazy because it's like he's getting so strong and he's getting so big and I just am so excited. 
I'm just so excited to meet him and um, give him all the kisses and do skin to skin. Oh, also in our third trimester, we've been able to do birth classes. We've been able to do lots of doctor appointments and figuring out um, where I'm at and preparing myself for birth. I've been able to do a birth plan, packing my hospital bag. There's so many things that I've been able to do. And I've one of the biggest things also in my third trimester is I have been nesting like a crazy person. It's been kind of hard just because we're gonna be moving so soon that I can't really make a nursery or do all these other things. But I've been able to organize and I've been able to um, prepare ourselves for when we move. And so it's been really nice that way of like kind of getting rid of a bunch of stuff and also preparing ourselves for when we have baby boy. So that's kind of where we're at, third trimester. I'm so excited to give birth right now. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but last time we heard, I was 60% effaced and I wasn't dilated at all yet. So they said that this is kind of normal for um, people that are a first time mom, where it's you're not as like far along compared to other people that have already had babies. So I've just been making sure I've been going on walks and staying active and just kind of going with my body because I'd really like not to be induced if possible just because I don't wanna have like a huge long labor. But if it happens, it happens and I've kind of, whatever happens, happens is kind of what my happy or my goal is. All I wanna do is just make sure that I stay positive and am happy throughout my whole rest of my experience and just kind of soak in all of this last little bit of time with my baby in my belly. And then when he comes out, I'm gonna enjoy him and just be happy. So that's kind of what my goal is. And I'm just so excited to see and meet him and I'm so excited to see my husband become a dad, grow our relationship in a different way that we've never been able to before. It's a great new chapter and I'm really, really excited about it. But I just can't believe that this experience has gone by so quickly and it's been such a great experience and I'm just very, very humbled and very, very blessed and grateful for um, this opportunity that I've had to be become a mom and to just have our sweet little baby boy and I just pray that all the labor and birth experience will go well and I just can't wait. I can't believe it's literally a week away. Like, and it's possible it could be any day now, but also, ah, I'm just excited. So, I'll keep you guys updated and if I don't, that's probably because baby boy's gone. So, anyway, I love you all. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for listening to all my birth story and, and getting all the bump updates. They're so fun to look at. Love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.